As a second lieutenant in the army, you will come into contact with a variety of different people to solve a variety of different problems. Uh, sometimes those problems come with difficult people you'll have to negotiate with. In Getting Past No, Negotiating with Difficult People, uh, Dr. Yuri tells us of a five-step model he's come up with to help us get through these uh, problems, come to better solutions in a more respectful and efficient manner. The first step is called going to the balcony. It's basically taking a step back from the uh, you know discussion at hand and trying to understand both sides as a third party would. Uh, in this step, you'll also be creating your bat now, which is your best alternative to ne uh, negotiation. Uh, this is basically what happens if your negotiation fails. What will you do then? In step two, it's getting them to go to the balcony, you know, getting them to go to the same mind space you are to keep the discussion, uh, you know, respectful and efficient. Um, you can do this by actively listening to the other side, you know, saying yes and as opposed to but. Um, and using I statements as opposed to you statements. So it's kind of, you know, centered around you making a statement about yourself and letting them make a statement about themselves. In step three, uh, you are going to be focusing more on the issues at hand and not seeing it as a two-sided argument. Um, why and why not questions are an important part of this as long as what, as well as what if questions, you know, what if we do this? That way you're opening it up to discussion on both parts. Um, looking at it as, you know, as if an individual is standing firm on one part of it, uh, you know, it's obviously important to take that into um, consideration when coming up with your solution, but that should be seen as the best possible outcome, not a for sure thing. Um, and if at this step, you know, either side is being rude or disrespectful, it's important to stop the conversation, address that problem so you can continue to move forward. In step four, it's building a golden bridge. This is basically removing all of the obstacles you've talked about before, asking for their opinion on how they think, what they think the solution is looking like so far, and addressing any unmet issues. Uh, it's also important to thank them. You can even bring in a third party um, to help them understand that their ideas are seen and heard and you want to help them as well. Uh, and another important part of this is sectioning into smaller bits so they're not overwhelmed by one solution. Maybe they don't like a part of it, so they're gonna agree to none of it. And the fifth step is only used if your um, step four, your golden bridge does not uh, work. And that's gonna be the deployment of your BATNA, educating them on the benefits, uh, bringing in a third party to help you discuss it and reminding them that a solution is very important. So basically, Dr. Yuri helps us understand the best possible way to work with a variety of different people, which is something that you as a second lieutenant will most certainly need uh, as you're either being a PL or moving up the ranks uh, in your future careers.